And just like that, the final episode of the recording session has begun. Welcome back to uh, Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. I don't know why I forgot the game that I'm playing. I always do that, don't I? When we last left up, Maya was kidnapped, sort of. She's not with us right now. I, I want to see what happens if we go to Vitamin Square and then come back. Oh boy, it's Mr. Grandpa. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you. We'll leave you be. Nope, she's gone. She is legitimately gone right now. <laughs> like I thought that like she was like taken away, but she would come back as soon as like the skit was out. Nope, she's she is gone. January sixth, detention center, visitors' room. Looks like they looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. All right, move to Wright and Company Law or Criminal Affairs Department. Sure. Here we go. January 6th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her innocent? Um, no, not yet. We've only just started our investigation. Well, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. I'm putting off all my other cases for now, pal. Gumshoe's really fired up about this. Oh yeah, one more thing. There were trials been approved. Court's sitting, sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And Godot's gonna be the prosecutor. Oh, him. Now listen up, pal. If Maggie's found guilty again, yes, y yes. Um, I'll, I'll make sure you get locked up for good, for good, up uh, good for it. Got it? All right, Gumshoe. Don't get too excited here, Maggie Bird. So the guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? Yeah. Back when she was on the police force, you were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Yeah, I kept a close eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know. Hey, what's with that funny look? Wait, what's with the funny looks, pal? I was just her. It wasn't anything like... Look, sure, I was her boss when she was doing her training. But that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe sure is sweating up a storm over nothing. Ah, so that's it. Her big old Gumshoe has a little crush on Maggie. Phoenix, we already knew that. We learned that in the previous game, or the first case of the second game. I I don't like her. I don't like her or anything. I I was ah! <laughs> Note to self: gossip with Maya about this later. Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, got it? Sure. <laughs> and would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the? Would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all this time? Hey, tell your hey, tell your face, pal, not me. You'd have to be blind not to see what's on your mind. <laughs> it's like we're playing Higurashi, the victim. So I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Glenn Elg, he was a computer programmer. Hey, Vegeta. Hey, Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That thing must be a piece of junk! Cause he's- ah! Why is he- seriously, why is he wearing a scouter? <laughs> I see. A programmer. He was just a regular Joe working for a small-time computer firm. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day, and all she did was take him his cop was take him his coffee on the day of the murder, pal. Great English there, Gumshoe. Yeah, Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chef. Said it was the first time he'd seen the guy. A programmer and a first-time customer. What possible reason? What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in her trial. You're kidding! What was her supposed what was her supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm really busy. I haven't even got enough time to sift through these papers. Look into your look into it yourself, okay? What could this motive have been? The investigation. This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it myself. Oh, that's right. The judge already wrote on the case, and all the evidence is in is in already. The only problem is with is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Look, pal, I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no liar. She's she's Okay, she's a bit out she's a bit out there and a bit of a bit off base sometimes, but she was a good cop. That's not exactly complimentary, you know. So what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? All right, contradictions. The biggest problem with the, with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Maggie is still Maggie still insists there was another guy sitting with the victim. 
Right, but get this! Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone, even the chef! And then there's that CD! CD? Oh yeah, she did mention something about a CD. And there is a sample CD on the table, sir! When our guys turned that place upside down, there was no CD! What? Not on the table? Not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal! But didn't Maggie say that the victim was wearing an earpiece too? Yeah, but that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie! A radio? He didn't have a CD player? You get it! Your phony, your phony never explained that contradiction at all! Come to think of it... The owner of the Trey Bien didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. What was your first clue? Anyway, let's go ahead and start presenting stuff, I suppose. So, first and foremost... Hey, Gumshoe! Hey, yeah, screw the formalities. I'm a lawyer. Are you aware of it? Is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony- I wonder what this phony of yours is like! He had Maggie found guilty of murder, doesn't that tell you? I gotta track this creep down. Magazine clipping. I wasn't at the trial myself, but I asked this one detective I know how your defense was. And what did he say? He started off by saying, I am at a complete loss for words. But he must have found some quick, he must have found some quick because he went on about how bad you were for an hour. But he said you sucked so much it seemed like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. It looked like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty? Well, I guess that would make sense. That's what I was thinking. All right, sports paper. What's that? A sports paper? Yeah, I found it in the magazine rack at Tree Bien. It's it's dated the same day as the murder. You may be onto something here. And take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, he actually seems to be thinking for once. Ah, it's no good. I can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Hey, pal! I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? I wanna get a handwriting analysis done in the scribble. Handwriting, huh? It'd be good to know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal! I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue! Sports paper given to the Detective Gumshoe. Job listings. What do you make of this? Sorry, pal! All I can think about is Maggie at the moment. No! I didn't mean it like that! I meant... You don't have to explain, really. It really doesn't. You're just making it all the more obvious, pal. Alright! I refer to him as Pal. He's rubbing off on me. My FA. Hey! So how come she's not with you today? She's working down at the restaurant right now. <laughs> sort of. Working, huh? Yeah, it's tough being broke. I would know. Um... Okay? Next time I see her, I'll show her how to make the world's best instant noodles! We low earners have to stick together, it's the only way! Um, why is he shaking my hand with such enthusiasm? Well, I don't think that just might have really... Cause like, you know... I mean, cause like, everything... Cause like, the Kudain village, like, that was that was her inheritance, right? And I don't think that they use like, any type of electricity, so like... Like, were there like, any lights? I don't... Th I think they tried their hardest to keep away, like, to keep like, the outside world... So like, I don't think she'd have to worry about like, any like, electric bills... I think they, like, or gas? I don't know. Mia Faye. She cross-examined me once, you know. What? Mia did? Yeah, that was us, the big guns locking horns. Witness versus lawyer. It was a battle of cunning tactics and tricks. But the witness isn't supposed to play any tricks. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I know that for one of these cases, I won't say which one, but another case, we may or may not be playing as Mia again, and maybe this might be foreshadow for that case. I guess it's not really foreshadow, because it's a case that happened in the past, so it'd be backshadow. I don't think that's a word, but it's still foreshadow, because it hasn't happened to us, so then backshadow, foreshadow, back <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Godot. That's the guy who's going to be the prosecutor in Maggie's retrial re tomorrow. Oh, really? He was working on a bunch of more important cases at the moment. But he canceled them all just so he could take you on, pal. Why is that guy so determined to see me fail? 
You sure attract a lot of attention, huh? Too bad it's all the wrong kind. Dick Gumshoe. I'm such a loser. I had high hopes for Maggie. I was going to make her the best detective there ever was. But then all of a sudden she was charged with murder and arrested. I never saw it coming. I never imagined they'd find her guilty. I hate myself for not being able to do anything. It's okay, Detective Gumshoe. We still have a chance to make this right. You know what? You're not such a bad guy after all, pal. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Maggie Bird. Have you gone to see Maggie? Of course I have! But I... I wasn't much good at consoling her. I'm... I'm not very good with words. Oh. Yeah, I guess I must have looked a bit down. Maggie was really supportive of me. It was great to have someone to talk to. Did he go for her or for, or for himself? John Armstrong. The chef of uh, Shrabian. Shrabian, huh? You know that what the chef said to me? Oh la la, your body is full of la toxin. And then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? I don't know. The label says Juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. Under orders? Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Huh? You can't stop tricking thinking about him. Not like that, pal. Give me a break. He's not my type. I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved with this case somehow. It sounds like he knows a little more, a little something more about our charming she chef. Glen Elk. Age 28, gender male, the victim. He was a programmer. Maggie had apparently never ever seen him before. What do you make of this? Alright. Nothing to say about the person. Okay. Sure thing, pal. Alrighty then, we, t we already exhausted everything here, right? No, we didn't. This is why you always check beforehand. Always, well, always helps you be thorough. So what exactly is it that caught your attention about the chef at Shrebien? It's, um, kind of hard to say. The guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Well, this sort of stuff is kind of unimportant. Gossipy stuff, you know, pal. You know, pal? Look, how about this? You go to Shrebien and investigate the place but yourself. And if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Um... Don't suppose I get the choice in this, huh? Guess I better find out more about this chef and Shrey Bien than report back to Gumshoe. Alright. Let's go ahead and move. I haven't drinking at all in quite some time. Right and Co. Law Offices. January 6th, Right and Co. Law Offices. Poor Maya, looks like Mr. Armstrong's really taking a shine to her. I suppose I'll just have to let her work at, lurk at, work at the restaurant for a while. I'll go pick her up from Shrey Bien once things have cooled off. Alrighty then. So let's go to the detention center, see if there's anything. Nope, it's still empty, so all we, that we can do is go to Trabian, so. Alright, Trabian! January 6th, Trabian. The scent of flowers sure is strong, it's almost making me dizzy. Oh. Oh, um, hello. She kind of reminds me. Anyway. Who was that just now? A customer? She had sort of a dark aura about her. Ah, or that's gotta be. Ah, welcome, bienvenue. Wow, what a cute voice. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's just you, Nick. Maya. Well, how do I look? Maybe I should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe, but it's quite. It's kind of boring being a waitress. I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who was that woman I just saw? Oh, oh! Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat! I'm kind of hungry, actually. Alright, give me some... I don't know, what's typical maid... What's typical maid cafe stuff? Um... No. You know what? Let's just go for... Let's just go for a parfait! <laughs> okay. Let's go for a parfait. Waitress. So, how do you like your new job, Maya? I never knew there was so much for a waitress to do! Take people's orders, bring them their food, make coffee, work the cash register! Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that! Yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress! Check out my give me a tip smile! It's the same as your regular smile, Maya. Lunch. Hey Nick, why don't you order something? The chief, the chef- I keep wanting to say chief! 
The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, or so he says. How much is it? It's the twin tea set, so it's $20, of course. The twin tea set? I believe I'll be taking a pass. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't! Come on, Nick! It's not every day I get to be a waitress. I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. Um, about the lunch. Oh, a fine choice, sir. No, I am... Um... Kitchen! A lunch special, please! With all the extras, drink, side salad, desert, and dessert, and gift! I don't need any of that! Just a moment, please, sir! I'm not doing the uh, Maya voice at all properly. Maya's really getting into this. So how much is this set lunch, then? So how much is a set lunch, then? $20, huh? But with a drink, side salad, and dessert, it's... $45? Hey, wait a sec, Maya! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, our deluxe fortified lunch set. Whoa! I just inspired by lobster and a ballon fricassette and balsamic vinaigrette. Bon appetit! Um, thanks. Come again, Nick? <clears throat> Come again, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? Alright, down the hatch it goes. <clears throat> well? Are you hungry, Maya? <laughs> are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving! Here, it's yours. Really? Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you better polish off that plate. I I've just remembered! I've gotta clean the toilets! Hey! You can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets! Besides, that's my job! How does the guy ma- how does the that guy manage to make good taste so bad? Hey, Nick, you wanna take a peek at the kitchen? The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. Alrighty then, the kitchen. Ready for action! <laughs> you ready to play Street Fighter 4, everyone? Hmm, now, now what was it that Maggie said again? Hmm, now what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you'll get to see all the chef's greatest secrets. In the kitchen? Hmm, that sounds tasty. Hey, wait up, Maya! What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Weren't you going to show me around? That's got, there, there goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. It better conduct the search in the ki- I better conduct the kitchen search in the kitchen myself. Alrighty then, we already presented everything, so with the exception of... The lunch special. Dreamy and lunch special cost $20 despite how unbelievably bad it tastes. Oh boy. I feel like the price $20 is gonna- is going to pay a strong- play a strong role here. You never know. About this. Sorry, Nick. I'm a waitress now. I've got a pile of work waiting for a little old me. Really? You don't seem to be working very hard considering that there's nobody here! Okay, whatever. Actually, I wonder if uh, we got... Uh... No, she wasn't added yet because we probably haven't even learned her name yet. Now let's go ahead and move to the kitchen, I suppose. Kitchen. January 6th, Trabian Kitchen. And here it is, the famous Trabian Kitchen! It's my first time in here too, actually! There is a weird atmosphere in here. There's a weird atmosphere in here, that's for sure. Mr. Armstrong will be back soon, so we better search quickly. Chop chop! Alrighty then. First and foremost. Is that the Magatama right there? Anyway. First let's examine this. What's this? It looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow! Look at all these little bottles! Oh, they're, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 98, 99, 100. They're all the same, too. Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? Well, what do you know? And it doesn't have a label, either. It's probably poison. And it doesn't smell. So what's that liquid inside, then, I wonder? So what's that liquid inside, then, I wonder? Hey, Nick, we should borrow this. I mean, look look how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? That's probably poison. It doesn't have... I don't think that poison, typically, or venom, 
Well, it wouldn't work to be venom because venom works in the venom only works if you get in the bloodstream, so it has it had to have been poison. Um, I don't think that poison generally gives off an odor, does it? It's generally odorless, I think, right? Now this is one large mirror. I bet this is I bet this is where we, he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's bedtime literature. Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? It looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool, read one out! And say it in your best French accent, with intensity, okay? Okay, um, here's one. <clears throat> it's called Printemps. The two of them like ex actors from a film, the coffee like un drink. Sweet nothings over too soon, on that on Sunday morning, the foolish cocktail so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea, and I know that I will do. I must lie to you. I must. Huh? That's it? Yep, that's a poem for you. I'll teach you a random Japanese word for the day. Uh, bungaki is uh, the Japanese word for literature, if you will. There you go. Like, there's the anime Aoi... There's the anime Aoi Bungaki, which is, uh, blue literature, if you will. Now I know I'm in a French restaurant, I've never heard of most of these seasonings. Hey, Nick, this container has... Oyster sauce? What's that? Isn't that used in Chinese food? Eh, look! Right there, right there on the counter! I knew it! I knew that was the Magatama! My Magatama, what's it doing here? What indeed? Magatama put into the pocket. Okay, I knew that was a Magatama. I said that as a joke, but I was also being serious, as, as per usual. Never, never doubt my jokes, ladies and gentlemen, because they usually tr they're usually true. Hmm, that smells good. Something bubbling away nicely in that pot. It smells so good, but it probably tastes terrible. Funny how that works. With Funny how that works with cooking. It must be the lobster and abalone fricassee with a balsamic vinaigrette. Isn't that just what I? Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Maybe. What do you ate? Maybe what you ate is the only French dish I know the name of. Okay. What about this? What are these lace curtains for? I don't know, but they get the place a real homey feel, don't they? Hmm, lace curtains. You know, if I was cooking pot, it, it, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on the sh on shelf under those. How do you respond to something like that? You know, this kid. You know, it seems like this uh, this restaurant needs a huge, a severe case of ratatouille, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Trabian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't. You gotta do the yeah, yeah. Do the yeah, yeah. Aw, I'm not getting a. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I doing right now? I'm not getting the full maid cafe experience. I demand it. If I'm gonna pay forty-five dollars for this, I demand the full experience. Um. I guess we could just go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and go to Vitamin Square. Yeah, it is Vitamin Square. January 6th, Vitamin Square. What's with the moped? Hmm, the old guy's not here anymore. Shrat, and I still have some unanswered questions for him. Let's examine the moped. Uh, let's see. A scooter, huh? Who would leave it right here in the middle of the park like this? The wheel guard and the light are busted. I guess it must have been in an accident. It's totally wrecked. I don't know who's screaming right now. Huh? Is that our imposter? Oh no! Hey! Who do you think you's do? Oh boy, he's got like a New York accent too. I think this guy's supposed to be Yakuza. I think he is. Just, let's, you know, why don't we take off the shirt and let's see your tattoos, huh, buddy? Hey, what you think you's doing with my bike? No, I was just... <laughs> you've been messing with my new ride? Is that what you've been doing? New ride? Isn't that kind of an old... <laughs> you's doing... You's, you's gonna pay for this. It wasn't me, it was just passing. Hey, then who's. Hey, who's the one that covered my saddle and crap, huh? Ugh, you was gonna pay, you catch my drift? No, wait a sec, I'm not a pigeon, so I couldn't have done it. 
A wise guy, eh? I oughta beat you so hard and feel like you was smitching the you was smooching the express train. Uh oh. I don't know what's worse, the threat or the fact that he's using so many gangster movie cliches. You's better watch your back. This ain't over. I'm gonna round up a group of lawyers and then you's gonna and then you's gonna pay. Um, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What'd you what'd you say? I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Wright? You saying you, Phoenix Wright? Um, yeah, I am. So you a wise guy too, huh? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright. The one and only. I knew it. You know, there's a special place for people like you. Why don't you go, why don't you go to uh, the Hody Clinic? There's another guy who likes to pretend to be someone he's not. I think you two would make a great pair of friends. Or whatever. What? Out of my way, I gotta cruise. He's gone. Surely that guy wasn't my phony, was he? He wasn't anything like me! Guess I better make a note of the scooter. Scooter added to the court record. Gah! Pathetic! Oh, it's you. A few threats from a little brat like that?! I feel I, I I feel I honestly feel like he's the type of man that like if you threaten him he would just like beat the crap out of you. But like I learned this in the I learned this in the war, sonny. <laughs> he's he's probably like a judo master. He's probably like a judo master. Like you don't know, man. Like this guy, I feel like he's seen something. Just looks just listen to that his theme song right now. This guy, you don't me you don't mess with guys like this, man. Like they might be old, but <laughs> they still got stuff. If you threat for a little brat like that, and you look like a pigeon that's got seeds in its eyes! Have you been here the whole time then? I wasn't that strawberry! I had some thinking to do! More like you had some cowering to do. I don't think so. <laughs> or maybe he's just one of those guys who likes to feign toughness, but he's actually kind of he's kind of a scaredy cat. He, you know what, he probably might have served in the war, but he was probably like... Maybe a secretary. Maybe that's it. Alright, first and foremost, lunch special. Um, excuse me, sir. Could I just ask you about this? Nope. Alrighty, then. Small bottle. Um, yeah, nope. So useless! Scooter, he's not gonna say anything about anybody, is he? Frickin'! He's basically, you know, you need to, I know, there's, there's a, there's a lady who I think would be a perfect match for you. I mean, are you interested in old bags, sir? I think, I think, if, if you're interested, I can, you know, I can hook you up. You know, you two are very old, you're probably about the same age, and you have very interesting personalities, Treby and regular. Are you a regular at the restaurant, sir? It's just that if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you old filthy pigeons! You want food? Ha <laughs> ha! Take this! It is... three. It looks like, yep, it's three. I knew it. This old guy's got something to hide, but what could it be? Well, we got the Magatama back. Okay, so... Hmm... What should we do? Should we end things off now? Actually, it hasn't even been 30 minutes yet. Let's let's head back to Gumshoe for now, and turn in a couple things that we got. First, the detention center, though, because we can't just go straight there. All right, let's go to move to Criminal Affairs Department, please. Uh, January 6th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. Hey, you're just in time. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? The lab got back to me about the newspaper you gave me! He must he must mean their sports paper with the memo scribble on it. So? What did you what did they say? Did the ana the analysis turn up anything? They said the doodle was written by the victim, Glenn Elg! No doubt about it. I expected as much. The victim took the paper with him to the restaurant on the day of the murder. That's our best interpretation of the facts at the moment. Sports paper were filled into the court record. M MC Bomber. I get the feeling I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh, well, I guess it'll, it'll come back to me. Don't forget to report back to me with whatever you find in the restaurant, okay, pal? Since when did I start taking orders from Gumshoe? Although, 
I get the feeling there's something I need to show him. Like, well, well, does he have, like, new talk stuff? No. New conversation topics would probably be, like, the more proper term. Uh, first and foremost, hey, Gumshoe, I Dude, don't go there. Their lunch is terrible. Okay, nothing to say. Then we're, next, we're going to uh, try the... Whatchamacallit? Small bottle. You got one of those aroma bottles too, huh? Only this one doesn't smell. Huh? I don't get you. This was mixed in with all the other aromatherapy bottles, but it's not the same. It doesn't even look the same. Wouldn't you agree? A cologne bottle that doesn't smell, huh? Smells like a skunk to me, pal. Mind letting me borrow that bottle for a while? I want to send it to the lab for analysis. The victim was poisoned, so the, con the contents of this bottle are pretty important. Small bottle given to the detective gumshoe. I'm pretty sure that's poison. I had a hunch there was something funny about the chef, that chef. Y you suspect John Armstrong? I've got that guy's number. I know what his secret is. That must be the same secret gumshoe was talking about before. I guess I better fill you in on the details. About this Armstrong guy's secret, I mean. Unfortunately, we'll have to figure that out. On the we'll have to see what it is in the next recording session, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to have to end things off. Yeah, that was quite interesting. Four new characters, uh, two of which two of which require new voices. Actually, three of which. I don't I don't quite know. Let's see. So there is uh, Armstrong who had like the suckly blue, you little disgusting uh, voice. I, it it keeps changing. Though. Like my accent, like whenever I do that voice, so it switches from like French to not French, like mid sentence. I don't even know. Then it goes to like Lady Von Karma mode for whatever reason. Then there's the old guy who talks like this, you whippersnappers. Ah! And let's see. Then there was Phoenix Wright purported. Frickin' the only thing, the only similar thing about him was a hair shell. He was red! He was red! He was like freaking uh, alternate. Oh my goodness, man. I was just thinking he's like, uh. uh you know who else is red? <laughs> you know who else is red, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> uh, why can't I think of his name at the moment? Anyway. Whatever the case may be, let's see what else is there. Let's see, there is the lady, the sm the lady who kind of reminded me, like she kind of looked like an Adams Family character to me. Um, I'll have to come come up the voice for her. I haven't done that. And then there's the yeah, then there's Phoenix Wright. Yeah, talking like this, yo. Yeah, I'm Phoenix Wright purported. Yeah, I'm working on my Joey Joey Willie impersonation, huh? Yeah, I'm straight from New York. Although I'm pretty sure that in the Japanese version, I'm probably t he probably talks about the Kanzai bit in the Japanese version, doesn't he? He probably does. <laughs> anyway, but you know, that doesn't translate very well into English. I mean, you can, but like, it really depends. I'm, actually, I've seen sometimes the kanzai been, has actually been translated, has been like, when it's, when localized, it's been turned into like a country accent. And then sometimes it's like a New York, like, Italian mafia accent. It really depends, I suppose, on the character. But anyway, whatever the, whatever the case may be, that's that. So yeah, the person who told me, I, I believe them, but yeah, they were, I did believe them, uh, but they were right, this, this case is definitely going to have a very interesting ensemble of characters, and yeah, I guess that's that, now it's time to end things off, so if you like this video, this series of videos, please feel free to, please feel free to leave a like if you thought it was cool, please feel free to subscribe and join the Oven Brother today, also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash MegaShadowFist, be sure to leave that in the description, thank you guys so much for watching, this is MegaShadowFist, MegaShadowFist signing out, bye!